Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got an awesome update for Halo Infinite. We got a whole new playlist called Squad Battle. So this is an 8v8 playlist which features three new maps made by the community in Forge. And these are some pretty iconic maps. If you've played Halo 3, you're definitely going to be familiar with these maps. So the first map is called Casino Bay. It's supposed to be a remake of Halo 3's Last Resort. Or if you want to go further down the line, it's basically Halo 2's Zanzibar plays pretty well unfortunately my only complaint is that the fan doesn't move but there's probably reasons for that so the second map in this playlist is called Valheim which is a remake of Halo 3's Valhalla not much to say about this one this one is very similar to Valhalla um, and yeah it plays really well one little cool detail I do want to talk about is that in Halo 3's Valhalla there's like random drop pods on the battlefield scattered all around there's weapons inside them that you would be able to grab in Halo 3 well in Halo Infinite you can't exactly do that that. Well, I mean, unless they create, I guess, a drop pod, a weapon drop pod. But instead of doing that, which I think is even cooler, is that they actually use the actual weapon drop pods that are in Halo Infinite and made it so it spawns like beforehand. They're just like preset locations. And so these weapon pods contain, you know, your battle rifle, the commando, stuff like that. And the final map in this playlist is Rat's Nest, which I really enjoy this one as well. You got vehicle combat in like a circle and then infantry combat in the middle. I think it's pretty cool. What I do find funny is that this is the only map out of the three that just contain the same name instead of uh changing it a bit nothing wrong with that but i do think it's kind of funny so yeah that is this new squad battles playlist basically just classic big team battle because currently right now for halo infinite big team battle it goes up to 24 players which is 12 v 12 and this one it's 8 v 8 which is 16 players which is which was the original uh player count for big team battle back in like every other halo besides infinite so yeah it's ultimately really just a kind of like a throwback playlist a halo 3 btb throwback playlist i would say now the gameplay itself is obviously not like og halo it's still like the infinite experience but i think it's still fun to play on these maps and i think it fits well with uh infinite's gameplay and of course there is various modes you can play on it there's ctf Slayer, king of the hill total control there's even one flag on the zanzibar map which is great because that map is really well known for that um so you definitely get to experience that as well now before I wrap this video up, I do want to talk about the ultimate reward and the shop this week for those curious. So for the ultimate reward this week, we got capture the tag, which grants you the Cascadia or Cascade, yeah, Cascadia visor when completed. So here is how the Cascadia visor looks. It's pretty trippy, but um, I think it's definitely a unique visor and one I'm definitely going to get. Now let's take a look at this week's shop. So for this shop, we got the Season 1 Legendary Armor Bundle, which contains, I think, the Gingar or whatever the heck it's called. And we also got the Hazard Bundle and the Anubis Bundle as well packed into this. On to the next bundle, we got the Citrus Ash Maw, which contains a bunch of goofy looking skins, in my opinion. Uh, the Hazmat stuff looks pretty cool. Other than that, um, yeah, that's about it. So the last new bundle we got here is Cobalt Adjacent, which is really just a shiny blue armor coat for every core nothing too special but um, we don't have that many shiny coatings I think so and then of course if you want to just buy the season one bundle separately you can also do that as well we also got the fire and frost bundle that was a season one bundle I believe and yeah this one has made its return and it has quite a sale going on it so I think it's definitely worth it now if you were thinking of getting this one before definitely it's definitely the time to get it now. We also got a sale on the ULLR armor set. And the daily is just a cold forest bandit coating. And that about wraps up the shop. Nothing too interesting, but some pretty good sales if you wanted to uh, get some of those bundles before for a better price. Anyways, guys, that wraps up this week's update. Mainly being about squad battle, which is a great addition. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And of course, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And if you want to see more Halo content, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.